Okay, Assalamualaikum. Our, ne our next topic is a coefficient of determination, which is R square. Okay, so uh, R square ni actually adalah, uh, uh, its name is coefficient of determination. Okay, actually it, it will describe the degree of the linear association between X and Y. Okay. Uh, and then this the formula that you uh, are very familiar with this formula, which is uh, SSR divide SST, or we can use one minus SSE over SST. So, okay, so using this formula, we will describe we can describe the degree of the linear association between x and y, which is uh, you know that. SST adalah measure the variation in the observation Y, which is it measure the uncertainty in predicting Y when X is not considered. Because of you know the SST adalah from the previous lesson that you have learned in uh, partitioning the variability in ANOVA, we know that SST adalah summation of YI minus Y bar, right? So it will measure the variation in the y in the uh, of the uncertainty in predicting y when x is not considered. Okay, sebab dalam pengiraan SST adalah y minus y bar. Okay. Similarly, XSE measure the variation in y when a linear uh, when a regression model utilizing the predictor variable x is employed because of we know that SSE adalah summation of um, squared of uh, yi minus y hat, right? Okay, the variation in the y when a regression model utilizing the predictor variable of x because of dalam uh, predicting the y which is y hat, kita ada the value, uh, the predictor variable x. Okay, itu adalah SSE because of that, the formula of R square, it is SSR divided SST ataupun 1 minus SSE over SST. So, from the formula ni, we can um, we can explain about the relationship between X and Y. Okay, a natural measure of the effect of X in, re in reducing the variation in Y. Okay, in reducing, contohnya, in reducing the uncertainty in predicting y is to express that by the, redu the reduction variation of SST minus SSE, which is the value of SSR. Okay, so ini adalah dia punya formula. Okay, kita akan tengok the effect of X in reducing the variation in y. Bila ada X, bila ada that X in uh, the data, so how many percent uh, it will reduce the variation in y. Okay, itu kita punya interpretation biasanya kan. Okay, so the value of R square ni will be uh, lies between 0 and 1, right? Which is, okay, sebenarnya ada dua cara nak kira R square, whether we will use this formula, SSR of SST ataupun uh, you know that the formula of R, okay, kita dah ada formula of R sebelum ni, which is SXY divide dengan square root of SYY multiply, multiply dengan SXX, right? So, using this formula, we will have the value of R. So, just simply square kan this value. Okay, we square the value, you akan dapat value of R square pun boleh ada dua cara. Okay, so uh, the value of R square ni will last between 0 and 1. So, biasanya kalau R kan, kalau R, uh, we will get the value whether it is negative or positive. But if we square the value of R, kita akan dapat uh, it, the value will last between 0 and 1 ataupun uh, it will be the positive value only. Okay. Alright, <clears throat> and then, okay, from that, we can interpret the R square. We may interpret R square as the proportionate, sebab the fraction tadi kan, proportionate reduction 
of the total variation associated with the use of the predictor variable x. Okay, kita boleh tengok how many percent uh, the reduce in the variation when x is considered in our data set. Ataupun uh, kita juga boleh explain macam usually we explain, we, we say that how many percent of the total variation in y is explained by the total variation in x, okay, in the predictor variable. Okay, so pun boleh juga. Okay, we have uh, some uh, interpretation of the value of r square. Okay, contohnya yang, sorry, contohnya. Okay, ini eh, ada beberapa uh, interpretation about the value of r square. Okay, first of all, let's say our value of r square is 0 0.952. So we can say that 85.2% of the total variation in Y, okay, in the independent variable, sorry, in, in independent variable, can be explained by uh, independent variable X. Okay, so sekarang ni sebab kita deal dengan simple linear regression, so X ada satu sajalah. Okay, so while the other 14.8%, macam mana dapat 14.8%, which is 1 minus the value of R square here, yeah, percentage of R square. Okay, so kita akan dapat 14.8%. So, the other 14.8% ni of the total variation remain unexplained by this model. Kita tak tahu ianya datang daripada mana, 14.8%. Okay, that is the one of the interpretation. Kita boleh juga interpret 85.2% of the total variation in Y can be explained by X while the other 14.8% of the total variation is explained by the other factors. The other factors that maybe we can explore more okay the other factors that will contribute uh in in explaining the why okay and we also can uh the several interpretation we get that 85.2 percent of the of the data variation y is accounted by introducing the x into the model boleh juga kita bagi tahu sampai situ ia memberi the same meaning je actually Okay, ataupun the variation in Y is reduced by 85.2% when X is considered into the regression model. Ini yang saya bagi tahu tadi lah, uh, the, the way how to interpret. Okay, the last one, 85.2% of the total variation in Y is explained by the linear relationship between Y and X. So usually, we will use uh, these two, biasanya kan kita akan gunakan these two interpretation. Okay, so boleh guna mana-mana satu. Okay, kita baca sikit kat sini. The larger R square is, the more the total variation in Y is reducing by introducing the predictor variable of X. Okay, lagi tinggi value R square the percentage of the R square, we can say that the more the total variation will be reduced. In Y, when uh, X is considered into our uh, model. Okay. We think of a lagi. When all observations fall on the fitted regression line, then SSE equal to zero. Okay. Can, can we have the fitted regression line? Kita the line of the regression, uh, we have the regression equation, then we, we draw the fitted regression line. And then, uh, dikatakan kat sini, if all the observation fall on the fitted regression line, then SSE will be zero. Sebab apa? Sebab SSE adalah sum of yi minus y hat square, kan? So, kalau uh, all the observation fall on the fitted regression line, means that, Y dengan Y hat tu sama. So, because of that, SSE will be 0 and R square akan jadi 1 according to this formula. Bila SSE kosong, okay, bila SSE 0, so R square will be 1. Okay, because of that. Okay, this shown in figure 2.8. Okay, here. Okay, dikatakan uh, all the observation fall on the fitted regression line. So, SSE will be 0, R square will be 1. So, kita katakan the predictor variable x account for all the variation in the observation y. Yang kedua, when the fitted regression line is horizontal, okay, kita ada horizontal line, so that 
the slope is zero kan kalau slope zero kita akan dapat horizontal line just dia punya intercept sahaja yang ada dia punya line intercept so uh, y i hat equal to y bar then sse will be equal to sst then it makes the r square equal to zero okay this case is shown in the here option here so means that and daripada sini okay if we can see this horizontal line okay ini adalah uh, dia punya slope lah okay uh, slope eh, sorry dia punya intercept okay the horizontal line slope is zero so means that there is no linear association between x and y in the sample data okay bila r square equal to zero we can say that there is not linear association between uh, x and y. So it means that the predictor variable x is no help in reducing the variation. So x yang ada tu will, 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 uh, will not helping in reducing the variation in y. Okay. This is the example of r square, how to find the value. This is SSR over SST ataupun boleh juga gunakan formula 1 minus SSE over SST. Okay, all of the value you can get from the ANOVA table or you can calculate that. Okay, so kat sini kita tengok the value yang dapat dia adalah 0.0822. So, we can explain here the variation in works hours. Work hours kat sini adalah Y. is reduced by 82.2% when locked lot size adalah x when the x is considered ok so now kita deal dengan simple so hanya, hanya ada satu x saja. ok when lot size is considered so 82.2% uh, of the variation will reduce in y ok that is the way how you uh, interpret the value of r square ok we can see the limitation of r square bila r square tinggi kita katakan the 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 data tu is good kan kita nak r square tinggi tapi ada beberapa misunderstanding okay uh, mister a high coefficient of the determination so tinggi lagi tinggi the greater value of the r square indicates that the useful prediction can be made okay this is the misunderstanding okay bila tinggi value of r square uh, kita katakan uh, the more the re reduction of the variation in y when x is considered in our in the model tapi dia tidak memberi uh, impact yang banyak kepada prediction hanya kepada hanya kepada relationship sahaja between x dengan y bukannya prediction so kita tak boleh buat a conclusion uh, that useful prediction can be made if the value of r square is high is higher is high okay yang kedua a high coefficient of determination indicates that the estimated regression line is a good fit okay um bila the higher value of r square kita tak boleh katakan we can estimate the regression uh, we can we can say that the estimated regression line is a good fit because of because of walaupun value r square kita tinggi tetapi kadang-kadang uh, kita ada punya relationship between y and x tu adalah not linear dia ianya adalah curvy linear so kita tak boleh katakan that type of the regression line is a good fit sebab regression line ni adalah straight line okay kalau you, you punya regression relation tu adalah curvy linear so uh, ia ianya tidak bermakna the yang regression the regression line is a good fit kalau straight kalau kita dapat regression relation yang straight ataupun linear baru kita boleh katakan the regression line is a good fit okay so uh, walaupun r square tinggi kita tengok juga dia punya relationship between x dengan y tu sama ada uh, ianya linear ataupun tidak barulah kita boleh katakan the regression line is a good fit okay so, so uh, because of when the re regression relation is curvilinear, the other curve, uh, the quadratic uh, pattern. 
So uh, that uh, regression line is not a good fit. Okay, regression line hanya straight line. Uh, Betul, linear saja. Right, so kena check juga untuk uh, linear relationship. Okay, yang ketiga. Yang ketiga adalah a coefficient of uh, a determination near to zero indicates that X and Y are not related. Okay, kalau uh, the value of R square is very low, uh, we cannot say that X and Y are not related. Maybe X and Y are related, cuma uh, they are related but the relationship is not linear. They are curvy linear. Contohnya dekat sini lah, di sini R square dia, walaupun R square dia tinggi, it's not a good fit sebab dia curvy linear tadi. Kalau dia straight all, all the data ni, uh, apa ni, create the straight, uh, apa ni, uh, the, the increasing trend, barulah kita katakan ianya good fit. Okay, kat sini dia ada curve kat sini, so it's, it is not a good fit walaupun R square nya tinggi. Kat sini pula, walaupun R square dia very small, 0.02, tetapi uh, dia ada strong relation. Cuma relationnya adalah curvy linear. Okay, so that is the misunderstanding yang biasa researcher um, uh, apa ni? misunderstood lah. So, uh, to, to, to understand this, we need to explore more. Okay, walaupun bukannya melalui value R square sahaja. We need to uh, draw the scatter diagram and so on. Kena tengok. Sebab itulah kena check all the assumption of the linear regression. Okay, that is for R square. Okay.